This portion of Fox 23 News is brought to you by Midwest Sporting Goods, your team sports headquarters. At 7.45, welcome back to Daybreak. A new DNA test for colorectal cancer creating a big buzz in the medical world thanks to its accuracy rate. That's right. Joining us this morning to talk about this new advancement, Dr. Jag from the Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. So tell us about this uh, and, and where it stands right now uh, as far as being available for, for folks to actually use. So it's an experimental test. It's being looked at at Johns Hopkins. And the advantage of this test is that it looks in the stool for DNA fragments of colon polyps and possibly cancer as well. As well. So uh, the role that this would play is that instead of taking a stool sample, looking for blood in that stool, this can actually look for changes in DNA in the stool sample itself. By looking at the changes in the DNA, they can find a polyp or possibly cancer earlier than waiting for it to bleed and show up in your stool. And FDA approval could take three to ten years, so this is still mm -hmm. something down the line. Is it something that everyone would need to get screened for uh, once they reach a certain age? Or Everyone should be screened when you turn 50. That's the time for colonoscopy, so of course none of you are there yet. But you should still look at the possibility of having this. And if you are 50 and older, then you should have your colonoscopy performed. So it's very important to be able to do this. And, and this can actually strike people, too, that are, that are under 50 as well. That's right. There are certain syndromes that are family inherited where you can be young and still develop colon cancer. And I see a number of patients that have something called Lynch syndrome, which is the early development of cancer from a, uh, either non-polyps or, in some cases, polyp that form from the families itself. And so this DNA test, maybe three to ten years from now, could replace the colonoscopy as part of the screening. The colonoscopy ultimately is the, is the gold standard in trying to look for colon cancer, but what it could do is serve as a bridge between looking for blood in the stool and the colonoscopy. By doing this first, you might be able to avoid having the um, colonoscopy down the road if the cancer is found early itself. And looking at the prognosis now versus what the prognosis could be down the road when this test is implemented, right. uh, I, I would imagine that that definitely increases the percentage uh, and the survival rate. Right. So if you find the cancer earlier, then you have the greatest chance of going into a remission, of being cured from the cancer itself. And that's ultimately the goal of any screen test, is, the, is to try to find cancer as early as possible, even when the DNA starts to change and starts to show up in the stool. So it is very interesting from that standpoint. Mm -hmm. And you guys also have a, a new FDA-approved drug called Stavarga. Right. This is nationally available as well. So uh, it, it was recently approved because it did show to improve the survival in patients with advanced colorectal malignancies. And the one way that it works is by stopping blood vessel growth. When we're looking at the way that these cancers work, a lot of infrastructure is created in, by a mechanism called angiogenesis. And angiogenesis is just a fancy term for making blood vessels grow all over the place. By stopping those blood vessels growth and stopping the enzymes that create those blood vessels itself, it can control the cancer itself. So it does seem to be helpful for certain patients. Mm -hmm. Fascinating stuff. Thank you so much for coming on. And uh, hopefully within a few years, we'll, we'll see that on the market and, and actually something that doctors can use to help out their patients. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cancer Treatment Centers of America has a special offer for Fox 23 viewers. A free subscription to the quarterly magazine, Cancer Fighters Thrive. Just head over to fox23.com, click on the Fox box and search Cancer Fighters Thrive to sign up.